So let me start by saying, I am not an expert with chainsaws. Uh, I know enough about them probably to get myself in trouble, but I also know enough about them to do the simple stuff. You know, replace the bar, replace the chain, tension the chain, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get to that right now. Okay guys, let's see if we can't get the new chain put back on here. So, grab one of the new chains. So, to put this on here, we just reverse the process that we did before. So that means this chain comes out, and a lot of times they're kind of twisted up like this. Oh, that was easy. Sometimes they get a little bit more twisted, and you got to kind of figure out how to pull them out, but this one went pretty, pretty easily. So you put this around here. There are some dogs here so that when this turns, the chain turns like that. So that's on there. Then you put the, the bar on here, and then you just start getting these on here and running them down the channel like this on both sides like that. And see how I just pulled it out and kind of tightened it up a little bit? You're going to have to do that. Um, and you want to get the chain all the way in, all the way along. And by pulling it out, that tightens it up a little bit. So, because that's where the chain is going to have to be in the, in the, you know, when you're using it. So, I think. couple right here put in like flint perfect okay so now we're in so now we put this back on and it goes right over top like that there is a hole if you guys can see that there's a hole in the uh, the uh, bar here that this screw right here goes into. So if you're putting on it, like if you've uh, um, adjusted this chain a lot, you may have to adjust this in order to get it tight on here. So the cover's back on. Just start these to hold the cover down. And if you remember, I adjusted this bar slightly when I was trying to fix it, so we'll have to probably adjust the tension on that slightly as well. Um, but it looks like the belt is good, or the uh, bar is good, so I'm going to start to tighten these down a little bit more. as tight as they need to be but they're tightened and if you look the blade runs smoothly down here there's probably still a little bit show you there's a little bit too much play here so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up slightly and to tighten it you just move this down like that you can see I don't know if you guys could see when I was tightening this righty tighty this tightened up a little bit so the blades the chain is still running smoothly but when I pull it out, it's not so easy now for that to pull out of there. Um, so I think this is good. The tension is not so tight that it can't you know, move. It's still going freely like that. I think we're good. I'm gonna tighten these down. The final tighten here. So that's as easy as it is. Um, you know, you could take it someplace and have them replace the chain for you, but like you could see, it's not that difficult. Now, like I said before, I am not an expert on chainsaws. Um, if you are an expert in chainsaws and you saw me do something wrong, I am not above taking some correction or some tips. But it's really quite simple to take off the bar, take off the chain, and replace those things. And if you have a chainsaw, you're going to need to learn how to do those because at the very least, you're going to need to take off the chain in order to sharpen or take it someplace to get sharpened. Um, I guess if you're sharpening it yourself, uh, you can do it on the bar, but 
Probably at some point I will do a sharpening video, but as of right now, I've got a brand new chain on there, so we are good to go.